Good morning. I'm Jamshid Beg known as JB the Adventurer, a solo traveler and a travel blogger from Manchester, England with over 30 years of travel experience. In today's adventure we are going to visit the oldest university in Scotland and third oldest in English speaking world. Apart from being the oldest university of Scotland and one of the best universities in the world, this place also have the pleasure to introduce Kate with her husband and future king of England Prince William. Founded in 15th century St Andrews is Scotland's first university and the third oldest in English speaking world. Teaching began in the community of St Andrews in 1410. and the university was formally constituted by the issue of a papal bull in 1413 with no national university to develop their academic abilities scottish students in the middle ages were forced to pursue their studies abroad by 1410 most had been driven to paris from oxford and cambridge by the wars of scottish independence with england When Catholic Church was divided in two rival popes with Pope Boniface supported by the French cardinals while Scotland remained faithful to Pope Benedict. Scottish students found themselves in a difficult position. The time had come to establish a seat of learning of international standing back home in Scotland. St Andrews was the obvious choice. the seat of the greatest bishopric in Scotland and location of a monastery noted as a center for learning in May 1410 a group of masters mainly graduates of Paris initiated a school of higher studies in St Andrews by February 1411 the school had established itself sufficiently to obtain a charter of incorporation and privileges from the bishop of St Andrews Henry Wardlow This granted the masters and students recognition as a properly constituted corporation duly privileged and safeguarded for the pursuit of learning However recognized university status and the authority to grant degrees could only be conferred by the pope or the emperor as heads of christendom bishop wardlow turned to the exiled pope benedict to seek his blessing king james despite being a prisoner of the english added his weight to the petition in a return for scotland's loyalty pope benedict rapidly agreed and on 28th of august 1413 full university status was conferred by a series of six papal bulls one of which survives to this day in the museum of the university of st andrews the most interesting part was that the papal bulls begin their five months journey from the spanish fortress in paniscola where pope benedict was safely clustered over land and sea to st andrews They arrived in the town in February 1414 to be welcomed with bells, bonfires and great celebrations. The early years of young university were not without troubles. In 1426, King James tried to move the university to close by city of Perth. In 1470 several masters and students were expelled for attacking the dean with bows and arrows. In 1544 the university banned beards, the carrying of weapons, gambling and football. By the middle of 16th century St Andrews had grown to encompass three colleges. such as St Salvatore's in 1450, St Leonard's in 1511, and St Mary's in 
The buildings of St. Mary College and St. Salvatore's Chapel date from this period. From the 15th to the 17th century, the university enjoyed a period of mixed fortunes. During this time, St. Salvatore's and St. Leonard's Colleges joined to form the United College, which still survives today in a greatly enlarged form. In the 19th century, the university made considerable progress in developing teaching and research in the arts, divinity, and biological and physical sciences. In 1897, the university was joined by a new academic center in nearby Dundee and with it grant notable achievements in medical and applied science. This association ended in 1967 with the foundation of a separate university of Dundee. In the 1980s, St. Andrews embarked on a broad program of investment to boost its research capabilities, a strategy which has helped establish its reputation today as an international center of research excellence. In 2009, St. Andrews became the first Scottish ancient university to appoint a woman as principal, recruiting principal Lewis Richardson from the Radcliffe Institute Howard to lead it into its seventh century. She was succeeded in 2016 by Professor Sally Mapstone. St. Andrews recently celebrated 600 years of continuous existence, during which time it has made an enduring contribution to the intellectual and cultural life of both Scotland and the wider world. Among all those achievements and accomplishments, St. Andrews University also has the privilege of Prince William and Kate Middleton's first encounter. It's well known that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge met on the grounds of this university. This is where their early romance blossomed. The couple were both students at this university and ended up living in the same student accommodation. Exploring the world and sharing these exciting adventures with you is a passion of mine. Be a part of my passion by hitting the like button and share this video as much as possible. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future adventures. Take only memories, leave only footprints. See you next week with a new adventure. Ciao.